Hi everyone, welcome. You are at your home, your happy place. And my name is Debbie. If you're new, I'm a retired interior decorator. And most of my channel is dedicated to just running around my house, decorating every room and redecorating it again. I love it. I love to move things around, just keep it fresh and finding new ways that make me happy. And really the whole idea of my channel is to encourage you uh, that you don't need a decorator, that you don't need an interior designer, and a warning to you if you think you're gonna get one. Be careful because even if you are one, sometimes people will try to push one on you because that's part of their package. Um, there's a lot of them that have their own agenda and they're not going to listen to you or they're going to try to convince you that what they want is what you want. <laughs> and then in the end, after you've spent all this money, you realize you just decorated their dream home and not yours. I just want to prevent that in anybody's life. Okay, let me get back to this. We're gonna do my laundry room today. Maybe you don't have a big laundry room. Again, a lot of the, this is vignettes. We're going from vignette to vignette to vignette. We're going from shelf styling to decorating on your wall or around a sink. You can do that in a bathroom. You can do it in a bedroom. All these things you can do, whether you have a big laundry room or not, you can use it in any room, really. I'm gonna start with something I'm so excited about. I'm gonna show you something that I've had in my laundry room. Ever since I got it, this little girl, um, I, I don't know where I got her from. I do know the author, let's see, you can see actually, uh, Maud Humphrey, she made a lot of things like this. And I love this one, there's another one. This one's hard to find. Um, it has a little ivory soap. It says a busy day and of course she's doing her doll clothes. This is an odd size and I wanted a, a mat around it so that I could make it, you know, appear um, more focal than just with the edges. So I'm hoping the frame I bought is going to work. So we're going to step aside for a second and go open the box that I ordered from Amazon with a new frame and mat. I spent a long time searching. I don't know what this is going to look like, so I'm just going to let you see. I'm getting ready to open it. And this particular frame that I bought, you could customize the size of your mat and your frame. And that's where I was running into trouble, trying to find something. I looked for so long, and honestly, this is a bright pink, but I think it's going to work out. I don't think I'm going to be able, or I don't think I'm going to need to whitewash it. Um, I just need to find my little picture, which I don't think has any pink in it at all, but it's going in a pink room. So, And I will be framing that and hanging that in the laundry room. All right, I'm going to take this apart, take this apart, and I'll bring you back when I'm putting it together. I just hope it feels, gosh, it feels, I know it feels like it's not right, but it is. I can tell. I measured it, so it has to be right. Oh, you guys, there's actually some pink in there after all. Oh, this is going to be so fun to see it draw the pink out. I love it. Okay. Let's see it together. I'm so excited. Okay, I gotta step back a little so I can see it. Oh my gosh. How many years I've had this hanging in my house in this awful frame. I don't know how much this frame was. It wasn't that expensive. I will say this. This is the second time I've ordered some frames from Amazon and they come with plexiglass, not glass. But I don't mind that. Um, I really think that just changed everything. <laughs> wow. And I made sure 
in this one, you couldn't really see this, so I made sure I got it up high enough. It took off a little bit from up there, but I wanted to see the whole, you know, the artist's name, which I don't know if that, you can't see the close-up of that. Oh, I can't wait to hang that up. Okay, my next little project. Um, this little mirror, uh, got all the, oh, it's on there. Kirkland's, that's what I thought. So I got this at Kirkland's many, many moons ago. Maybe they still carry it. Kirkland's is a company that does that. Um, very farmhouse. Long ago at another house, I had a laundry room that was not much more than a closet and I just wanted to make it cute. So I put this in there. So I thought, um, where did I get this from? I don't know. Ashland. Okay, so that means it's from Michael's. And I don't know if I got that. Yeah, I got that this year. So it's got a little place to just hang it or it's wide enough. You could just sit it on the shelf, which is what I had done. But I was just sitting there and I thought, I think that would be cute. So let me show you what I think I'm going to try. I'm going to try and get it in here. But I do, and it's kind of, you know, it's funny because it's a wreath. The bunny's already in a wreath. And it's kind of the same wreath. But I'm going to try using ribbon. And since it's going in my pink room, now I had that real wide pink ribbon I used up there, but I want to use something very, very soft and pliable, which I also got at Michael's this year. And so I'm going to just see, I'm going to play with this and then I'll show you if I come up with something. So far, so good. So I've got it through the back of the hanging part of this and around the back of the wreath. So I am just going to tie a bow and tighten it so that it's exactly where I want it. And we'll see if that turns out pretty. I hope I cut this long enough to make a pretty bow. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I will, next time you see it, it'll either be done or it'll be scrapped. Alrighty. Pretty happy with it. I'm gonna go put it on the wall, and I'm gonna go hang the other, the picture, we'll have the two things on the wall in there, and we'll see where we go from there. Oh, this is a heavy mirror. But we have a screw in the wall, I think, and not a nail, so that's good. This works out, otherwise I have to put another hole in the wall. Ugh. I just think it's gonna be way too high. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna leave the nail there for now and go ahead and decorate the rest of the room and we'll see if I need to lower. Anyway, I have had this for a few years. It says, hello spring. And while I don't have a lot of blue in here, I have a little. And when I turn you around, you'll see. So it's something I already had. And I'm thinking how cute it would be to have a, a few little somethings. I may have some lavender downstairs that I could stick in here. I'm sure I have something. So I just want something up here that's just kind of happy. And then I decided to use this down here. And then I'm going to bring in a little of the pink and green together here. So open these up and set them out. Peck Sniffs from England I get at TJ Maxx um, very inexpensively. Often you can find them in a little container or something so that you get the lotion too. This particular one is Hyacinth and Cherry Blossom. Perfect for spring. And I love the colors. Um, you can usually get them on Amazon as well. They're just usually more expensive. So if you have a TJ Maxx or go online, maybe. I don't know if they sell the soaps online or not. Um, but I still, I'm always going to link below or link something similar. Actually, I'm going to put this in front of the towels. I'm going to start with these. I measured those. Went to Home Goods or TJ Maxx. 
measured. <laughs> they always have a ton of baskets. And so I was able to find exactly what I needed. So one of them holds gloves and winter things for us, which, you know, I don't really need right now. Well, today I do. <laughs> it's 26 degrees outside. 80 degrees yesterday, 26 today. And the other side holds um, doggy sweaters and things. So a little something for each of us. We do have a little blue in here, which you can see. And of course, these are a peachy pink. And they really are beautiful. They are like the feel real type. So I'm just going to put that up there. It's perfect height. And of course it's, oh, 19, vintage since 1975. Okay, that's nuts. That's vintage. That's when I graduated from high school. Oh my gosh. Last year I bought one of these. I remember it's on my one of my spring. If you want a whole different spring decorating, like if you're you've watched my videos and you're like, oh, she's not on today and I miss her, check out last year's and the years before because I think I did a pretty good job last year. I was in this house and um, the year before that, I was at the lake house probably um, and it was okay, it wasn't bad. I just probably only had a couple videos because I was just trying to learn and maybe my microphone and things were really bad, I don't know. But there are plenty of good ones from last year. The reason I bring it up is I bought two of these. One was at Hobby Lobby and I can't remember where the other one was. And now I don't even know where the other one is here. <laughs> it's on a window frame. Maybe it's at my other house. Um, got a little pink bow on it, got the wreath, and you know, it's made to hang, but I'm just gonna set it up there in the corner. Let me put you back so you can see what I'm doing. That's all I'm doing up there. I love it. Somebody loves you. Um, <laughs> it's funny. I don't know. I, I don't know when I got it. Maybe last year, maybe the year before, but I forget sometimes that one side is a plaid. So when it's over like this, you don't really realize that there's something on the other side with writing. So it's kind of fun. It makes it really potentially usable for year round if this is, you know, in your, in your decor. But I'm just going to pop this down at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that either. There we go. Just enough sitting down and putting on your shoes. Um, I thought, oh, this will be great. It'll be a great little wreath type thing, instead of a wreath, something different for the back door here. And it's just smaller than I expected. Um, but you can buy, you know, your, it's not like, I mean, they're all in stock. So whatever letter you are, you know, and it just says welcome to our home. And this is cute enough. It's not bad and I don't really recall the price, but, it does look cute here. So I'm just gonna hang it up here. So I ran out of day yesterday <laughs> and um, I'm back in the laundry room. Um, here's what I've done so far. Uh, so these are the little lavenders I found. Um, they're like a 
a stem. So they just have a long thing under it. And in order to make them stand up, nothing fancy. I use packing paper and wad it up and stuck it in there. And then in between, because I put in, um, I just got a couple little uh, candle rings. So I'm putting those in between and then I'm going to fill in with a little of my moss. I haven't opened it yet for the front porch. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and set that up behind the sink. Okay, loving that. I do wanna show my, because there's a lot of you that are new, I want to show you my little laundry baskets down here. I love these. And I love these because they're on wheels. They're very lightweight. They're so cute. And so I can pull them in and out to use them. The reality is this is supposed to be a folding zone. But, I mean, I'm just going to be honest. It's kind of like with TV trays. I am not somebody who wants to stand in my laundry room and fold clothes. I'm going to take my clothes out and do it where there's a television or there's people, um, where I can look outside and see stuff. I don't know. I just, this is not, I don't want to stare at a wall, even though there's a pretty picture there. So I am going to decorate this. And one of my biggest things is this, I, I can't stand that plug there. Let's hide it. Okay. So I'm going to, Use this, um, I don't know where it's from, but it's a sweet little um, cloche and I'm not gonna have the lid on it, I'm gonna put it by the side. I think I got these in the dollar spot a year ago at um, Walmart and <laughs> it just take a paper towel that was out um, and stuff it in here. Here's a little, I don't even know what this would be. Is it, I guess it could be a pillar candle ring. I know when I bought it, it was hanging on um, a sconce and it looked really pretty. And those sconces I've never even found a home for. I'm gonna set this on top of here. I have a little bag, uh, I had a little bag of eggs. This isn't all of them. I got this on Amazon. Um, it was a set of, I think, maybe eight. Four of them were tall and a rectangle, and four of them were square. All of them are different, and they're just adorable, just a little block. They're thick enough to stand up. So I thought that would add a cute little vintage touch. There's a lot of vintage look going on in here. Um, I bought this on Amazon. I don't know if I got it this year or last. It's it's there probably. They're so inexpensive and they're tin, but they're never over $10. They're usually at the most eight something. So um, you can do so much with these. They do have um, little holes already in them if you wanna just put them on, on the wall, but you could also put them, you could frame it and put it in a frame. It'd be really pretty too. But I'm just putting it on a plate stand, a pretty big one. Put that over here in the corner. Yeah. And I'm going to do this um, candle from TJ Maxx last year. I don't know if they, I've not really been shopping as much. I haven't needed as much this year. Um, so I don't know if they've had this. But um, I, I got a lot with these really pretty ceramic things on them last year. And I don't even think I've, have I used this one? Nope. Ooh. That's pretty. Up here I've already decorated. So I'm at the top. So there's my cabinet window. So you know, when I get down, you can see. I did buy that this tin this year. Um, it, 
it's really adorable and I put it on a plate rack and then a couple years ago I picked up two of these unless one's a chicken that I have but that one's a bunny definitely and chicken wire and those beautiful little eggs I had bought I'm sure at Pier One years ago and just threw some straw in there and I needed the height I wish it was just a tad shorter but um, it is on a, I don't know, what have I got it on? Oh, okay, so there's a real big wood base on this. I was thinking that was the riser. It's on one of those little bitty pink ones I have that I paid a dollar for. So that's what's sitting there. And then I tucked the garland in here from Michael's. And I will step back so you can kind of see. I think that looks really cute. So that is just above all of this. Really hard to tell, but I have two little push on hooks there. I don't know that they'll last. Here's my sweet, sweet little find from last year, TJ Maxx. It is one of the cutest, looks like I could maybe tuck that in a little better, but one of the cutest little wreaths, if you want to call it that. I mean, obviously it's a basket, the little bunnies in there, reading a book, and I just love it. I think I'll probably move it a little lower later because um, it's it, it could come down because you can't really see all the cute stuff up that high, so... When I finish the room, it'll, it'll be down. But anyway, adorable. I just love it. And, you know, I get a little bored with wreaths sometimes. So I love it when something's a little fresh and different. Kind of has the same idea going on. So this is a little spot. It's just a little nook. This is my door. So it's, it's not real important. Actually, and here's our little kennel. Almost looks built in, but it's not. Um, got that on Amazon. I love it. It's got a drawer. I think I'm not sure if it also opens on the side because we have another one similar in white at our other house, but it's got hooks on the side so you can hang their leashes. I had this. I know I found that at either TJ Maxx, Home Goods, or Tuesday morning so many years ago. And it's, um, I don't know where all it's been, but, um, I, this was up in my stash. He's nothing special. I don't know if he's got a tag on him. Nope. Had him for a long time. Um, so I'm just going to hang him on here as my welcome. And then let's, let's do this area. Again, I don't want to see the plug. Another old item. Um, I'd say very French country cute little um, nest in there and just odds and ends. Adorable, but it's just tall enough to make that go away. And it gives me a little uh, spring for sure. Do you ever at times just, I mean, you're just reaching. <laughs> That's what I'm doing over here. I'm coming, I'm coming to the end. I told you I didn't have a lot in my bins. And though I bought a lot of stuff, uh, I got plans for most of it. So in here, it's getting to be a little leftover. So I found this in my stash, which I have a, a table runner of. I love this print. Um, and I'm, not, I'm thinking these are napkins. They feel a little... I don't know if it's a napkin or a dish towel. I bet it's just a big napkin. So I'm, I'm going to tuck this in here and uh, get a little of that print showing. Sorry, doing one-handed is tough. <laughs> okay, and then I think got this 
really, these are so hard to deal with. <laughs> I mean, unless they're going straight in. So I'm using it to kind of nest something in. So I will have to use two hands in a minute to fix it. But um, boy, oh boy, am I so glad I got these. This is the third riser uh, I'm using from this little set I bought for a dollar. You know, I'm going to have to come back. I'll tell you what I'm doing because that, that's not working with one hand. I found this cute little bunny. I <laughs> love it. It's really got a little cotton tail too. Uh, at the Bloomland Square this week for $5.99. And then I'm going to throw in some of these and I'm going to make a little basket. I know bunnies don't lay eggs. We all do. How are eggs and bunnies and Easter baskets all tied together? I don't know and I don't care. <laughs> and so you don't need to explain it to me because I really don't care. I just think it's pretty and I'm going to mix it all together. So I just went from finding this kind of crooked little basket in my stuff and a napkin, I think, and um, a stem and some leftover eggs and a bunny and turned it into something that I think is absolutely adorable there. So here's, this is all I'm going to do on this level. I'm going to do just the two shelves. The top one's getting really high, and I have a high ceiling, but you can't get back that far, so we'll just do these two shelves. I'm wrong. This little guy said he wanted to move over here. <laughs> what happened is I was upstairs and found that, and I love that. Um, and I'm not going to use it for real soap. I just love the little robin's egg soaps and that little soap dish. Um, so I decided to put the bird on the other side. Found this in my stash. I want to say this is a Walmart find last year, maybe two years ago, but I don't know. Um, and I'm going to put that one on the top shelf here, or the middle shelf. And then I have another one of these really beautiful glass candles, which I won't be burning up here, but I think it's pretty. Oops. In the center, I'm gonna go with this little girl. So pretty. Okay, so there's that shelf, and then I'm only putting one thing on that shelf. Also up in my stash. Just love this. I wish you could see the wood ha handle. But it covers up the bunny. And I really love, <laughs> love it. So there you go. There's the whole thing. I'll do a close up at the end, but I think he's really sweet there. And I don't, because I'm using a whole bunch of little things and I kind of have to, um, I just don't want to overdo because then it becomes a little junky looking. Even this right here, this is my opinion, but they're basically the same height, and that's not a great idea. It would be much nicer if I had something over here that went up a little higher. Um, and, you know, who knows? Who's to say that in the course of the next few weeks, I won't find something in the house and rearrange it, because I do that all the time. But for now, I think this does it. So I am hanging um, a leather basket that I don't remember where I got. And um, I had another one of those napkins. So I put that one in here, even though you can't even see the other one now. You really can't. And then more of the same spray that's over in that as well. I'm just going to stuff this stem in there. And um, oops, fluff it together a little bit more. Here we go. And then <laughs> that's it. I'd say the room is done. So we'll do a once over. There is something I forgot to show you. So I bought a set. Um, they come in several patterns on Amazon. Um, so it was a small rug like this. And then I have a, a longer one that I have actually. It would look nice to have one in front of the um, washer and dryer that matched, I suppose. 
but I've got it in front of my kitchen sink. So I do want to show you that and um, that's it.
you know what I'm going to thank you for today? I'm going to thank you for, I wouldn't have a channel without you, okay? And so am I thanking you for being a subscriber and a viewer? I am, but it's really more than that, you guys, because... If I didn't have the channel, I just don't think I would put my heart as deep into every little room. I mean, it's a laundry room. Come on. Do you really need to do all these things? No, <laughs> don't. I could have done about half of it. It would have looked nice and it would have been great and I would have been happy. But because I have you guys and I really want to bring you things that, you know, ideas and I don't know, you just pull it out of me. That's all I can say. I feel like I have a client. So when I have a client and I'm working for them, I am going to give them a lot of ideas. I am going to try and find the things that, oh, that doesn't work as good as if we tried this. Let's tweak, let's tweak. When you do for yourself a lot of times, so I guess this is a little advice for you as well, even, you know, for when you're decorating your home, um, treat yourself as your own client, right? I think that's what I'm kind of doing because of you guys. And so I'm, I'm taking it up a notch. You know, I could have gotten away with about half the stuff in here and it would have been fine. It would have been pretty, but I just wanted to keep, you know, pushing it. Let's see, can we do this a little better? Can we add a little something here or something there? So um, I hope you had fun. I did. And please give me a like. I really do appreciate it. I'm still, I said to somebody yesterday, I'm going to be saying hi to you. Um, I, again, I, I don't have her name, but she was from Portugal. I had edited it out. So hi, Portugal. And oh, Estelle in, hmm, now I'm not sure if it was Michigan or Wisconsin, but you know who you are. 80 acres of woods and farm. Wow. I love hearing it. I love hearing where you're from. I love hearing about your aesthetic. I know in the past when I've done pink, there's been a lot of you who've said, I don't like pink, but I like your channel. So I'll watch you anyway. I'm not hearing that anymore. So I don't know if I lost those people because I really went pink this year. I hope not. I hope you pink people, you, you non-pink people are still around. Let me know in the comments. And what am I bringing you next? I'm not sure if you've missed anything. So far we've done a haul, we've done, um, oh gosh, have I done Easter? -y? Yeah, I've done an Easter tablescape, done a little Easter kitchen. My family room wasn't Easterized, but it's not gonna change a lot when I do Easter. So if you missed that, check that out. And I've got coming my sitting room, my dining room, my front porch, um, the rest of the kitchen, my screen porch, my garden area. I mean, we have so much and I'm going to try and fit it all in before Easter. I am. <laughs> Let's just see if that works out. I will see you guys next time. Make your home your happy place and I love you. Mm -hmm.